welcome to my audience and you viewers who have never seen me on YouTube before. Where have you been? In this video, we're talking and showing you Xbox Game Pass. Maybe you're curious about what Xbox Game Pass is and what games are available on it. Maybe you're a PC gamer, PlayStation gamer, or on Nintendo. Whether you've gamed on Xbox before, or you're a non-gamer and you don't game at all, this video will give you an idea as to what you are getting for your money on Xbox Game Pass. I'm going to briefly show you some of the games. I might skip some games, but I'm going to do it in a very relaxed, calm, laid back way because I'm, I'm in that mood and I don't have the energy to be really hyped right now. <laughs> so let's jump in to Xbox Game Pass because I'm a little bit ill. So I'll be taking my time as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so I have to sign in, which means I need my controller in my hand. My controller's right here. Let's sign in. <laughs> this is my account. You cannot see my password, but I've just entered that by pressing buttons on my controller. So of course, if you need to Xbox entirely or that feature, you can set a passcode on your account to keep it nice and secure so that people can't jump in and take details and all sorts of madness. So Xbox Game Pass. To access Xbox Game Pass, there are a few ways. You can go through the dashboard. So this is the dashboard that you're seeing on screen now. So if I scroll, I'm just pressing down on the D-pad. You will see everything that's currently available on that dashboard, but you might not see Game Pass. Now I need my glasses on, so hold on. <laughs> I need to be able to see. Told you I'll be laid back today. Okay. All right, no cuts, keeping this completely natural. Right, so this is interesting. Some of you might be interested in that. But if you don't see Game Pass on your dashboard, what you want to do, ideally, is press the Xbox Home button on your controller. It will be the same. It doesn't matter what type of console you're using, what type of Xbox console you're using. The software updates with certain looks and features. This remains the same. It'll open up a menu, and at the bottom of that menu, you can see Game Pass. You can select this even if you're not subscribed. I'm going to press it right now. And now I'm inside Game Pass. So this is Game Pass that is currently... What date are we on right now? So you're on the 21st. I will put the date in the title as well. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty ill. I'm a little bit off, but it doesn't matter. So we're currently on 21st of July. Now, Xbox Game Pass updates... So there will be updates and some of these games might not be available and you might have newer games. It rotates sometimes, if uh, you know, but it does normally take quite a long time before games are no longer available. And also, if you're still subscribed to Xbox Game Pass, they will let you know when a game is about to leave. So there is a section uh, with games about to leave or called leaving soon. So I'm just going to scroll a little bit right now because I also have the ultimate. So there are two versions of Xbox Game Pass right now. You have the core Xbox Game Pass, which is going to be for your console or for your PC, if I understand it correctly. And Ultimate is for multiple devices. So as you know, you can access your games on PC as well as Xbox. And that is really helpful if you're using your mobile phone to game as well. And I've shown you how to do that. I'm going to put it up in the cards right now. If I've got that far in the uh, the YouTube upload flow, we're gonna we're gonna see. Right, so there's a section called recently added. Let's have a look at some of the recently added right now. As you can see, there are a few games available. Well, if I scroll to the right hand side, there's this show more. So if I select show more, you can see all of the games that have recently been added to Xbox Game Pass, including EAFC 24. So if you're into your what Americans would call soccer, so you might be from the US, you would call it soccer. We call it football over here in the UK. That's a football game. And the rest of the world calls it football as well. That's why American football is called American football. But we're not going to get into the debate. But there, <laughs> right here, you can see uh, EA SC24 is currently available. So you can do your premiership games, your international games, and more. It's the game. I own it. Um, I made that purchase before it was added to Xbox Game Pass. So you might have some really big games that are added to Game Pass later on. So I... Got it during the initial release. It's now being added to Game Pass now. Uh, much, uh, you know, it's like a year later. So it was obviously 
release. We're in 2024 right now. So moving on a little bit more, you can see we have come into Game Pass as well. So there's a come into Game Pass section, most popular, which is going to be the most popular played games from Xbox gamers. So as far as I understand that, it's basically what people are downloading the most. Right, so if we select this, you can see Rainbow Six Siege, Minecraft, Forza Horizon 5, EA FC 24, The Descenders, Forza Horizon, Among Us, UFC 4, and more, including Sea of Thieves, which is also a very popular game, and Fallout 4, which as you know, Fallout now has its own series, live action, and you may have watched that as well. That's what it's based on. It's based on the game Fallout, which is developed by Bethesda Game Studios. Let's come out a little bit more. There's a little bit more you can have a look at through Game Pass. But of course, like you can always go through your categories as well. You can do A to Z and you can do different uh, game genres like platformer. Mario is a platformer, usually, just to give you an idea of what a platformer is. You can also see some images to give you an idea. Shooters, which as you know, Call of Duty, you're shooting a weapon. If you're not in first person, you can be in third person where you can see the whole body while you're shooting. Those are those types of games, shooter games. If I click into it, you might also see some bird's eye view shooter games as well in this section. So as long as you're shooting a weapon and it's mainly about shooting a weapon, that is what shooter games are. And you can see the shooter games that are currently available. Very popular category for gaming. So if you're purchasing Game Pass for somebody else, um, I mean, the re Rare Replay, which is a bunch of games by Rare Studio, who were the ones who developed, um, what's the game that we just had a look at? Sea of Thieves. It's the same studio. It's what they were developing way, way, way before. Some of those games were available on different consoles, not Xbox-owned consoles. And you can see that they're now made available right here. Uh, in this bundle so you, sometimes you have bundle games as well so i've given you an idea of what games are available you can also see because i've played assassin's creed mirage so there's an algorithm on xbox as well it knows what types of games that you're playing many of you that are my viewers here already know that i play assassin's creed mirage so you, you can see the types of games it's recommending to me because i play that game that also happens with your profile and let's scroll up now um to the additional section which is claim your perks now. So sometimes you have perks as a subscriber and you can get those perks for your game. These can be in-game purchases, cosmetics and more. You can also see some save deals. So you get discounts sometimes on some games. So it says save on Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC. I already have the DLC. I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla for quite a while. But of course, with all of these other types of purchases, you can get discounted as well because you are a Xbox Game Pass member. So there were also discounts there as well. So I think that pretty much wraps up what we've got in Xbox Game Pass for now at this stage. I might do a deeper dive on another day. But my throat's starting to hurt now because I am pretty ill. So if you've enjoyed this video. I don't know why I'm hitting myself like that. But if you've enjoyed this video, I was meant to beat on my chest to be like, yo, you feel this? Then give it a like. Like this video. Give this video a thumbs up, press the thumbs up, press the like button, smash the like button. I'm saying it in a variety of ways to see if the like button likes up because that's a new feature. I'm trying to get it to see if it works. Also, subscribe to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. There's more where that came from. Gaming and more. So I do other things other than gaming as well. You might want to check that out. Helpful content. Let's come out so I can give you some sort of a uh, screen here which doesn't involve too many tiles. Never mind. So on screen right now, you should see some boxes. Those boxes, you can click on them and it will be an additional video. I think I'm going to put one because there's so much on screen. So just to give you an idea, over in that direction, you should see a square and you can also see a circle with my face in it. You click the circle and then you can subscribe. You click the rectangle thing and then you can watch another video that's available that I've created for you. I got to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.